Okay, this is a bench test of the new mini lathe motor. Uh, number two, I've just run it up, it all works. So I made sure it doesn't sling grease off the end all over the place. Um, obviously, my lighting is still crap because my lighting is always crap. Uh, you can see this is 2800 RPM motor, 24 volts, uh, 35 watts. Uh, came off of a, a small sort of golf buggy type thing and uh, I've actually removed the gearbox, the gearbox is a, a 42 to 1 gearbox which actually results in a, a 1 revolution per second or 60, I think it's 66 RPM actually um, so yeah uh, I've actually got this plugged into my little bench power supply, this isn't man enough to really run this motor uh, but if we turn it on and have a look here. Let's put it on low. That runs. And the my actual first thought about this is it's so quiet. It also wobbles very slightly. I don't know if that's the uh, there's a very small amount of vibration. I think the gear the gear that was pressed on there for the gearbox is slightly off centre. Uh, I can't actually remove that gear. So yeah, this is this is running. It's pulling. Well, you just about to see the dials there. It's pulling what? Uh, I've no idea. We're on high amp, so this is pulling about 200 milliamps. And it'll actually the the ammeter cuts out there. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure whether the dials work on this thing. So this is this is about the limit of what the thing can do. You can see here it goes up to a nice, nice thing. So you get a massive, massive voltage drop there. Um, so yeah, so thoughts. I need to get a new power supply or better power supply. This is running with very little, uh, very little vibration at all. You can sort of just hear it buzzing. It does actually have a, a shafting code on the back. So I'm wondering whether to use uh, this Robo Claw board that I bought a while ago for another project. You can't really see that with the crap lighting. Uh, this is a 30 amp board, I think, or it might be a 60, two-channel uh, robot motor controller, uh, and that takes quadratic encoder inputs. So that's something we can do with this. Anyway, so here's the uh, here's the partially completed bed. This is actually going to be held up sort of this whole height. Uh, there's all the rest of the bars and everything, the cross braces to put in, as I discussed in the post the other day. Uh, and I'm now on three minutes, so I'm just going to cut this short because I'm almost out of phone battery. Uh, yeah, so motor works nicely. Thank you very much.